Welcome to Bitboy Crypto. My name is Ben. Today, I want to talk to you guys about is crypto gambling? I mean, gambling has been a hot topic of conversation in the United States the last several years. Uh, more and more states have accepted sports betting as legal. I enjoy uh, sports betting myself a, a, a pretty good bit. You guys will see me posting some stuff uh, on Twitter. That is, you know, we are working with Stake, obviously, our, our, our new partner, our new sponsor for the channel. And, uh, you know, so we're, we're doing a lot more sports betting because we're on that platform. And I think that if you know me, you know I've always liked to gamble. I like the sports bet. I like to play poker. I like to play table games at the casino. I like to play roulette. I do not like, <laughs> do not like to play blackjack. Do not like blackjack. Blackjack is so boring to me, but it's the easiest game to beat. There you go. So gambling, daily fantasy sports, right? DraftKings, it turns into uh, sports betting sites now, right? They have their own sports betting, uh, DraftKings, I don't know, sports book, I guess it's probably called. I don't know. But uh, I can't. In Georgia, we're not allowed to uh, use that app, so I couldn't download it and see. But the point is, the way that people look at gambling is changing. And I think there's a very specific reason for that. I think it's changed over time, progressivism, you know, you just see things change in society, right? Um, you, you would never have thought, you know, 40 or 50 years ago that gay marriage was going to be a thing, right? 40 or 50 years ago, you might have thought one day, marijuana usage, you know, when I was a kid, I never thought marijuana was going to be legal. I prayed that it would be, and then it got legal, and I didn't smoke weed anymore because I grew up, I mean, you're not a kid if you smoke weed, I guess, but your own personal preference. But, but the point is, I aged out of that, well, changed my life and aged out of it. And so, you know, it's just ironic now looking back, right? That was what I talked about when I was a kid all the time. Like, oh man, it'd be so great if this was illegal. Over time, and nobody thought it would be back then. Nobody thought 30 years ago or 20 years ago that it would happen this quick. Now it's not legal federally, but there's so many states where it's, where it's legal now. They even legalize mushrooms in some states. Things change over time. And when it comes to gambling, we are starting to see this. The reason why the idea of gambling, and let me give you some examples of how this is changing. You have sports betting commercials on TV all the time now. You have ESPN showing the game odds, showing the point spread. You got shows on mainstream sports channels all about sports betting. You have one on Sirius XM here. Sirius XM, you have a, a, a show that's, or a channel that's dedicated to sports betting. And it just shows people are interested in this. They want more of it. Daily fantasy is something that really popped up out of nowhere. And I think that really got the ball rolling with some of this stuff. It's fun, right? It's like paying to play fantasy sports. But the whole thing is, I believe why this is occurring right now in front of our eyes is because people have realized that investing is a gamble. Completely investing is a gigantic gamble, right? You put money, people tend to put money in the market at the wrong times, right? But look at what's going on with our economy right now. Like if you thought you were going all in on Tesla last year, you're hurting right now. Same thing with crypto. If you went all in on Bitcoin when it was 70K, 60K, you're struggling right now, right? It's a bit of a gamble. And one really crazy thing is like we heard Crypto is too volatile. It's so volatile. Well, you see the bank stocks? It's 97%, 90%, 60%. What we're seeing right now is we are seeing a gigantic amount of volatility in traditional markets. These traditional markets, people would use them as safe investments. Safe investments. But now... People are realizing, wow, there's better opportunities out there. I, I don't have to invest uh, 100, 100 bucks a week in a stock over 20 years and it goes up 5%, I'm happy. There are better opportunities out there. Gambling and investing, they have one gigantic thing in common. They're both about systems, right? Like on a true game where you have terrible odds, there's no system, okay, I hate to tell you that. But in sports betting, for instance, you can find systems. You can find track records of 
teams, for the last 10 games, they played as underdogs on the road in an outdoor stadium. Oh, crap, they're 8-2. and two. Well, that doesn't mean indicative of future success. What it does mean is you've now established a pattern to where, in this situation, most of the time, one outcome occurs. The greatest sports players in the world, that's what they do. They find systems, and they get in, and they, they, they massage them, and they uh, you know are able to basically move lines sometimes. Um, and, and I think that that is something that you need to think about. In the world of crypto and investing, it's also about a system, right? We don't just go to CoinMarketCap, pick a random coin. No, we do our research. We look at the social sentiment. We look at the tokenomics. We look at the niche. We, we look at the team behind it. We look at all of these things and they give us better insight to make better decisions with the risks that we're taking with our money. And I just think that this moral high ground of, uh, of gambling bad, right? Investing good, gambling bad. Guys, that's just words. That's just made up. It's just not true. Now, that doesn't mean that you take your whole life savings and go put it on red or black on roulette. Like that is dangerous, right? But a lot of people out there they can gamble responsibly and they don't have a problem with it and they do it recreationally and they enjoy it. Okay. I love to play poker recreationally. Love it. It's like one of my favorite things to do. I could play all day, every day for my whole life. Probably to be honest with you. As long as I thought I was going to win, <laughs> but it's all about getting systems. It's all about figuring out where you can get edges. You got to get an edge wherever you go. Um, but there are certain games that, you know, a slot machine, for instance, you, you can't really get a system with a slot machine outside of taking advantage of the rewards or the points or the programs that some of these casinos have, where you can actually lose money in the casino. You can actually stay there for free and eat for free. So you kind of come out ahead in a sense. The smartest people out there in gambling are the people in investing are the ones that know how to find the system, build a system or, or find or build one and stick to it. When people start getting outside of what they know works, that's when it gets emotional. It's you know very similar, obviously, to the, the market cycle, the market uh, psychology cheat sheet that, that we always look at in crypto, is that emotions overwhelm you. And when you get emotional, that's when people make really, really bad decisions in all areas of life that involve risk. They just do things that are stupid because at that time, they feel like they should do it. When you get outside of your heart, you start thinking with your brain, you're going to do much better. Uh, and like I said, if you do have a gambling problem, certainly don't sign up for a stake. But if you want to go check out, I put a link down below at the top of the video description. It goes to my Twitter bio. You guys can go sign up for a giveaway on Twitter. We're giving away $100, or stake is, $100 to 10 winners. Um, giving it out next week. So make sure to go check that out. Sign up for the contest and uh, see if you can get your... I mean, that's not... Hey, that's... That's house money. That's house money. You like that? All right, guys. Uh, ultimately, everything in life is a gamble. That's why you all like me. You bet on me. You know what, Squad? I bet right back on you. We all got to make it. That's all I got. Be blessed. Be blessed.